Great, so in this lecture we want to look at creating ego bait and getting the attention of key influencers in your niche. This is another strategy in order to get more links pointing back to your site from authority figures within your niche, which is exactly the type of powerful links that we want to go after. So you may have noticed in the competitor uh, backlink analysis that you saw individual links coming from a couple of different key influencers and you want to replicate that. Well, I'm going to give you a way to really replicate that quite quickly. Otherwise, if you notice during your competitor's backlink analysis that there seemed to be an absence of that, this is a strategy that then is going to be able to put you above them and get to the top of the search engine results. So. What we've said before is that natural link attraction is really the best way to build links and building something that's generally, genuinely worth linking to, whether it's your product services content or the opinions you're sharing with your industry. The problem is that it can be difficult to create awareness about the great things that you've created and it's not enough just to push it out on social channels, especially if you've got small social media profiles. It's going to be very hard to create a lot of links uh, if even if you produce a great piece of content because people are just not going to be aware of it and they can't link to it. So the way to really amplify the awareness is to get strategic and get the key influencers in your niche to put the content in front of their users. Um, that's really going to just hugely accelerate your process in terms of getting links because you, they're going to put it in front of a lot of people that are in your niche that are interested in what you're talking about etc. So the way that you need to do this is to what launch what they call ego bait that makes those key influencers look good and so that's content. Ego bait is content really made and designed to flatter, include or get the attention of specific users while also providing utility to their audience. So people on social media and in blogs like to share things that make them look good. So if you can create a piece of content like that, that can really help flatter your audience, you can be sure that they're going to pass it on to their audience to make them self good look, look good. But in the meantime, that's going to open up the door for you, for you to attract links, attract traffic and to your site. So this is a really smart strategy. And what I wanted to look at now is a couple of examples of what is the type of ego bait that you can create. So we've got best of lists. I mean, you probably see this all the time on the internet. You can create a list of the greatest content or writers or things uh, in your space. And that allows you to really include and, and you know, give a holistic picture of the space. Uh, so the second idea for creating ego, ego bait is to have an interview with a thought leader or thought leaders over the phone using Google Voice or, or, or and whatever. And you can really put that content down on YouTube. But obviously, if you want to attract links to your site, what you can do is take that video put it in a blog post, but also lay out the key points for people. So if it's a half an hour video, an hour long video, you know, people don't maybe want to re watch the whole thing um, without knowing really what it's first about. And so what you can do is put a scrant transcript in, summarize the key points, put in the links that were maybe referenced within the, the video, the tools, the strategies, etc. And now you've got a piece of content there that's that people will want to link to the to the actual post on your website rather than just the video. Um, I mean, this can be one person, it can be a couple of different people, but you can just combine it um, and create a session. And again, very quick to create this type of content, it includes a lot of key influencers. So another great idea. So uh, another way to do this, similar to an interview with a lot of people is due to crowdsourced posts so you can reach out to the influencers ask them what they think about certain current events maybe something that's creating a lot of noise and it really needs some clarity from a couple of different opinions 
um, then by reaching out and asking them, it can feel important, allows them to get their voice and opinion heard, um, and they don't have to write a full post themselves or maybe do all the research on their own. They can really combine it in. And again, that's something you can publish on your site. They're going to want to link to it because it looks good for them, um, and there's a good, easy piece of content as well for them to share on to their audiences. So finally, there's uh, awards or badges, and really what you can do here is create a, an awards in your space and you can send the people you want to link to you a kind of a badge um, that they can put on their site that's maybe a small piece of HTML code and it makes them look good like they're the number one um, social media influencer in golf say in a particular country or worldwide or whatever you know Obviously, they're going to want to put that on their site because it makes them look good to their audience, gives more credibility, etc. Um, and so, there you go. That's four very simple ways. I think anybody could do this for any industry. Um, and so, it's really going to help you get the attention of key influencers, get links back from them, and also create opportunities for their audience then to link in as well. So just to give you an example of ego bait and how effective it can be to attract links to your site, I've just typed in here top 10 cooking blogs. So this is the kind of best of list, also a cross between maybe the awards one as well. So as you can see, let's just have a look down, 13,000 links, 32,000 links from the same website, um, Huffington Post, 24 links, okay, 49 links, still pretty good, uh, 2,999 links, 36, um, great, so let's have a look then at some of these links for a section, let's have a look at them. So what we've got here, maybe it loads, okay, best food blog awards, and you can see They've basically become the authority on this and they've got different categories, best cooking blog, baking blog, uh, cocktail blog, beer blog. So they've got huge amount of categories there. Let's have a look at some of the links. Um, so this is probably one of the winners, Love and Demons, a food blog about healthy, simple and seasonal recipes. Um, and so you can see they're probably one of the, the winners. They're linking back to it, which is exactly the idea that they want. So a lot of links from 180 root domains. That's probably the more important figure there to look at. But again, just a, a very effective food curated. These are food related blogs with a decent amount of authority, um, all thanks to creating some good ego baits. So, I hope that really highlights how powerful this strategy can be.